Hi, welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. In my last video, I built a Roycroft pack and I talked about different strap options. Right here, this is strap option number one. This is the gold standard for uh, improvised pack frames. This is military tubular webbing. So this is probably maybe a 12 foot piece, maybe a little bit less. It goes on with a lark's head right across the, the top. Now you can see what we're rucking today. I've got my haversack with some camera stuff in it. I've got my hydration bladder. And i got a 30 pound weight. So to put this on, I've got the lark's head on the frame itself. It's going to go up and over your shoulders. And you're going to hook it into these two crosses in the end. Tuck it up nice and high. Make yourself a waist belt. And you've got an improvised pack straps. So this ride's okay now. 30 pounds is about the limit for a Roycroft pack for me. This is uh, excessive in my opinion. Uh, a 30 pound pack, you know, you can camp an entire weekend with a 30 pound loadout without a whole lot of problems. So this would, uh, be a situation where I had a full weekend's gear in my bag, my bag blew out and I had to switch over to a Roycroft. I'm going to be using these improvised straps. I'm going to start rucking with it today. Uh, my goal would probably be four miles. After a mile I'll turn the camera back on, evaluate the straps, um, and if I can't get a mile out of it it's an absolute failure. So we'll see how long I can go. I'll turn it back on intermittently and we will see how the pack rides. So I got my first mile in with the 30 pound Roycroft with the military tubular webbing sling uh, pack straps. You know my time's a little off because I was actually talking when the uh, meter was running. So I'm probably running about a 17 minute mile. I'm a little off on my pace. But everything's comfortable. It took you know maybe a tenth of a mile to get everything shifted into position. Um, I had to get my uh, bottom board sitting in my back correctly. I'm getting a little bit of tension here on the straps. You know, I'm definitely missing padded straps, but uh, this seems like this is going to be a doable thing to get my four miles in here, weather permitting. You know, I got a storm blowing in, so we'll see how it all works out. But one mile in, so far so good with the tubular military uh, webbing pack straps. So you can see I've got a deer over my shoulder watching me ruck here. Got my two miles in with the uh, military webbing improvised pack straps on my 30 pound uh, Roycroft frame. Uh, that last split was like 1530 so that's like a good pace. So this definitely is not inhibiting my pace right now. Uh, starting to really bite into the shoulders but nothing, nothing terrible. I did find myself grabbing the bottom of the frame and pulling it up a little bit just to give myself an ease for just a, you know, a couple steps. Because of the triangular shape of the pack itself, you know, without having a sternum strap, obviously I don't have any issues with the shoulder straps walking off my shoulders. So, you know, I'm going to push through, I'm going to get my four miles, you know, unless I'm struck by lightning or something today. So no real surprises with this, you know, it's not super comfortable, but it's 100% doable. So I'll keep on rucking. So a little bit of wind noise to deal with, but uh, you can see the rainbow over my shoulder. I've got uh, great things to film today. Uh, mile three with the 30 pound Roycroft pack with the military webbing slings. Uh, that was like a 15, 15 minute, 14 second mile. So I am getting faster. That is pretty much my normal pace. No numbness anywhere. That's the main thing. Uh, comfort to side. Uh, you can do it with your normal pace with this without damaging anything. So you're not going to have to worry about any nerve problems or anything through your arms. Uh, got one mile left. Let's go ahead and knock it out. Already got the ruck all done. So that was with 30 pounds on a Roycroft pack with military webbing. You know, no, uh, no real issues. Now this is not packed right. You know, I've just got a steel plate on here. So I do have the, the wood directly against my back. You know, if you were going to pack a standard Roycroft pack, you would have you know your tarp or any type of soft object against your back to push the pack away. I don't have that luxury today. 
uh, screwed around a little bit getting everything comfortable. You know, the first quarter mile, I was shimmying the strap around, rocking the pack back and forth, trying to get it in a happy spot. So lost a little bit of time with that, but once everything got established, I was able to, you know, keep my normal pace. I'm a little sore right in here, obviously. Um, what I would do is I would grab the bottom of the pack and kind of lift it up sometimes just to give myself a little bit of a break. Uh, the hydration bladder hose, you know, I don't have any clips or nothing on this, obviously, so I couldn't reach it. It was like a mile in as I'm digging for this thing, trying to get my, my water. But I was able to do it. But the waist strap where the, uh, where the webbing is tied, you know, no issues with that. Um, no real surprises. I've used webbing for Roy Croft. That's my normal uh, strap. So I've used it before, never with a 30 pound load though. So I was kind of, uh, kind of leery about that actually. But you just untie it, take it off, and you're all set. So if I was gonna grade this, again, I said at the beginning, this is the gold standard uh, military tubular webbing for improvised pack strap. You know, it's got a lot of different purposes, so there's a reason to carry it anyway. Uh, it's plenty strong, and as far as comfort goes, it does the job. It's wide enough where it actually spreads the load. So, until, uh, until the next strap, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you next time.